Hi bros and babes. This is going to be my second attempt at roasting meat inside a log. This uh, is poplar and it came from a tree that blew down in a storm. And it's still green. There were still leaves on it when I cut it up. So I'm going to hollow it out again. But this time I'm going to try a different technique. Stay tuned. Going slowly here. I want it to split right down the middle, you know. I don't advise going barefooted when using an axe. You can hear it splitting, can't you? So, got the idea of how this is going to work. Okay, bros and babes, here's my log. And the log is sunk uh, almost halfway into the ground. 
and uh, I put some rocks around it to brace it to keep it steady. Okay, there it is. The rocks and the ashes inside and all around it. Right. That's as hot as an oven, bro. I can't even hold my hand on it. See that how it's turning black? That's a good sign. That means it's hot enough to burn. It's, it's burning inside. Wow, I can see the crack right there. I can feel a lot of heat coming out of there. Look at the rock. It's been like a spin on it. Man, it's been like about 20 minutes and it's still, that rock on top is really hot. See that? It's boiling. Okay, it's been an hour now. And it's still burning. Rock cooled off on top a little bit, but it seems like in the center there, it's still as hot as ever. Here's the seam where I split it down the middle. Wow, it's so hot. There's so much hot steam coming out of there. I can't even hold my hand there for a second. Still burning inside. Whoa. Oh, it's like a volcano. It's just as hot as ever. And that's still T try tying a rope around it and pulling it out. jammed up. I gotta think of a better method. <sighs> Fuck. I if I can grab it.
I wonder why it wouldn't come out of there. I got the spike on the end of it. Okay, I'm gonna go get a light because you can't see good enough. Let's open her up. See, you can see. Oh, that's so really hot. You can see I put charcoal in there, but maybe I didn't have to. Maybe I can just add ooh, rocks. And here's the, what I did was I started losing confidence that I could do this, that it would work that the heat would last long enough. So I put three potatoes and an onion in a brown paper bag, soaked it in water, and uh, put it in the log. I didn't film because, like I said, I, I, I didn't think it would work, and I thought, what's the, what's the point? I wanted to experiment here first. Here's a paper bag. But it's soaked in water. Damn mosquito. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Look at this. That's really soft. Look at, I'm squeezing it with my hand. Wow. Look at how good it is. See that? If it can cook a potato. Two potatoes. I mean, that's, that's totally cooked thoroughly through. A third potato. Look at that, look. Steaming hot. It can cook a roast. It's a success. A success, bro. Look at that. Look at how good that is. And no sand in your food. Hardly any ashes. Done. It's totally soft. 
if it can do that to a potato, big potatoes like that, again, you can cook a, cook a chicken in there, a roast in there, anything you want. Look at how beautiful that is. So, why is this so great? Why is it such a big deal? Because this is something that you can make in the woods. You don't have to carry a Dutch oven with you. You don't have to watch your food when it's cooking. So I hope you enjoyed this video of roasting food in a log oven. I'll be back with more of them. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna eat those for lunch tomorrow.